Hi everyone. So in this video we're going to figure out 26 is what percent of 78? Okay. So um, there's a few ways of doing this. Um, what I would suggest is let's start with an easier problem and solve that first. What if you were asked something like you know, 50 is what percent of 100, right? How would you solve this easier problem? 50 is what percent of 100? So let's just work on this and if we figure out a, a method for this easier problem, then we'll apply the same method to this problem, right? So have you got an answer for me, by the way? Can you just give me the answer to this? 50, 50 is what percent of 100? Is the answer 50%, right? 50 is, it's half of 100, it's 50%, right? But what method would we use to get the 50%? Well, we could go 50 over 100, and that's 50%, right? And we could divide, for example, to turn that into a decimal, 0 0.5. And then from the decimal, we could turn that into a percentage. Move the decimal point over one, two spots, put in a zero, and we have 50%, right? So the method is to put this number over this number, isn't it? So, and that should work for this problem. If we put 26 over 78, that should be the same method. And then we turn it into a decimal, and then we find the percentage, right? So let's turn this into a decimal, basically. So I'm going to simplify the fraction because I can see that we have a 6 on the top and an 8 on the bottom. We have even numbers. So 2 will go into both the top and the bottom. 2 into 26. 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 6, 3 times. 2 into 7, 3 times remainder 1. 2 into 18, 9 times, right? So this becomes 13 over uh, 39. Now, can you simplify it from there? Thirteen times itself three times, by the way. What's that? Three times three is nine. Three times one is three. See, three thirteens is 39. So 13 into 13 goes once, 13 into 39, three times. So we get one over three. So we've simplified the fraction, but yeah, we wanna get the fraction to a decimal and then turn it into a percentage, right? So we've gotta turn one third into a decimal. Do you know how to do that? So you could do a division 3 into 1, or 1 1.00, and add on a few zeros, right? And actually, we could have done that at the beginning. We could have gone 78 into 26, right? And if you're using calculators, you would just go 26 divided by 78, and you would get the decimal. Um, but in this class, we're going to do it without a calculator. But it will give you the same thing. Where did he go? 78 into 26 or 3 into 1? It would give you the same thing. But I, I just thought we would simplify it and get to here. It's a little bit simpler. So 3 into 1, 0 times. Then bring up our decimal point. 3 into 10, 3 times. Remainder, 1. 3 into this 10, 3 times. Remainder, one. 
3 into this then 3 times and add on a bunch more zeros you can see what's happening right remainder 1 3 into this 10 3 times remainder 1 and so on so it looks like we're getting 0 0.333 on and on on forever which is also written by the way uh, 0 0.3 with a bar over it okay to show that the 3 is repeating um, and it's not specifying how many decimal points they want so I'm just going to give it round this to the nearest um, uh, so so well, we'll turn it into a percent first move the decimal point over one two spots and you get 33 point three 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 on and on percent right so I'm just going to round that up to maybe two um, that the nearest hundredth so thirty three point three three percent okay um, and by the way that's also thirty three and uh, and one third percent and because this point three 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 on and on forever is the same thing as one third. Okay, so that's another way of writing it. Thirty-three and a third percent. But this is a, approximately the answer as well, right?